he might be inside for a small Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you at the official opening ceremony of the Embassy of the Slovak Republic in Yerevan. Let me in particular welcome Mr. Uh, Miroslav uh, Lajčák, uh, His Excellency Minister of Foreign and European Affairs of the Slovak Republic, and Mr. Zohra Munetzaganya, His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia. Now, uh, let me ask both ministers to present their opening remarks. Your Excellency Minister Matsakanyan, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the guests. It's excellent to be back in Yerevan. I recall vividly my last trip to Armenia in 2019, coming here as the OSC chairperson in office. Given the high number of high-level visits on both sides, namely eight in the last five years, and also the number of talks and meetings on various occasions around the world, our countries have experienced unusually intense political dialogue. And that is also why today is truly a big day for our mutual relations. After 27 years, they are getting a house. From now on, our relations will be not only institutionalized, but also further cultivated by the presence of our diplomatic mission. With this step, we want to increase the dynamics of our interactions and look for new opportunities for cooperation. Because we are convinced that there are many to uncover. Naturally, economic cooperation is essential. We are ready to support direct business-to-business -business contacts and explore new business platforms. In this respect, the opening of a new flight connection between Vienna, which literally neighbors Bratislava and Yerevan, might essentially facilitate creation of new economic ties and cooperation, including between small and medium-sized entrepreneurs. But we are ready for a very exciting work and cooperation in other areas too, especially in sectors close to people, education, youth exchange, health, and tourism. Because ultimately it is our people, the Slovaks and Armenians, that are the foundation of our friendship. Excellencies, the colleagues, before giving the floor to Minister Nasekanyan, I want to take this opportunity to thank you, the Minister, Armenian government, and other respective authorities for your support and assistance in making the project of the new Slovak Embassy in Yerevan successful. We truly have big expectations from this mission and from the future relations between our countries. We all agree that the potential is huge and we are ready to use it and elevate it even more. So I want to thank you for your friendship and hospitality. Thank you very much. Breaking the laws of Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, indeed, uh, dear Miroslav, uh, dear friend, uh, I'm really very excited um, to be here to, uh, op to uh, this ceremony of opening the Slovak Embassy in Armenia. The diplomatic community in Armenia is expanding, which is very exciting. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, the Slovak Embassy will find. Uh, uh, the joy of being in Armenia, in Yerevan, especially that I noted that a very good eatery is just across the street. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, it very much reflects on the deep content of bilateral friendship and relationship that has been developing since we established relations, uh, diplomatic relations in 1993. Uh, this, the dynamics of our relations have been extraordinary. Uh, your visit to Armenia uh, is not is far from being the first one, and uh, our engagements together, our work together, uh, has been very active. But naturally, we have an interesting agenda, very promising agenda. We have very, you know, many levels of engagement, 
be it the government level, be it the parliamentary level, be it the uh, uh, decentralized level of cooperation. We do recognize the opportunities that open up to further expand our uh, economic relations. Um, that uh, there are many common grounds that makes us very common, uh, very confident about it, and we have good opportunities to discuss it today at the meeting. Tourism is a great opportunity to expand, and uh, the expanding flights to Vienna, we all remember that it is just next door to Bratislava, and uh, I'm sure that this will be very attractive to Armenian people to travel and visit Slovakia as much as for our uh, friends from Slovakia to come and find the beauty of Armenia. I had the great pleasure of being in uh, the hometown of uh, Miroslav in High Tatra, and this is somewhere really worthy of visiting. I'm very keen to do that myself. And of course, there are many things to see in Armenia. We have many important platforms for work together. Slovakia had very successful, very important chairmanship in the OSCE last year, and that is one particular format or platform in which we have been working together and will continue to work together. The EU is an absolutely important platform in which we work together with Slovakia. Uh, Slovakia is very active in promoting the EU Armenia agenda, and I'm very grateful to Miroslav Persson and to uh, Slovakia for uh, keeping the Armenia EU agenda very high. Uh, uh, in our financial relations and also consolidating our efforts, helping promote our efforts. Uh, the Vision Ground Forum is such one platform in which we combine the work together bilaterally with other partners, uh, including within the Eastern, Par the Eastern Partnership. Uh, and this is another very good example. Uh, we have important cooperation uh, in other regional sessions uh, uh, in Europe. Uh, uh, and this is uh, with a very good, very good record. And of course, the global agenda, Armenia and Slovakia have been working very closely together in many global, many global issues. Now, we are both now members of the Human Rights Council. It's our first year, and it's Slovakia's last year. And we have plenty to work together, and plenty in common to work together, and, and, and to exchange and to, to, to learn from each other. So I'm really glad that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that the Slovak embassy in Yerevan will be very, very busy because there is a very busy and very heavy, very, you know, comprehensive agenda that we were so good to develop in the years uh, since establishing, uh, in, uh, you know, since establishing diplomatic relations between Armenia and Slovakia. So, very warm welcome to Yerevan. Thank you very much for. Uh, giving up the promise and opening the embassy in Yerevan, and uh, this is home. This is home for the embassy. This town is very welcoming. This town is very happy, and uh, I'm sure we are there will be more opportunities for you to come over to Yerevan uh, and uh, to uh, continue to invest in the good, important agenda that we have together. So welcome and thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>